Hey guys, welcome back to another style video. This is a recreation of an older video that I did a long time ago, I think like a year ago. I am going to style gray sweatshirt like four or five different ways. I haven't decided yet. It is definitely sweatshirt season and I love taking really comfortable, relaxed pieces and styling them in two different ways because you can get a gray sweatshirt pretty much anywhere. They come all the way from Forever 21 to like high-end designers. So I love a good sweatshirt, especially gray because the gray I feel like just goes with everything. First of all, know the difference in the color sweatshirt that you're getting. So right here I have more of a cool tone and I have more of a warmer tone and they don't always work with the same item so you need to be careful which one you are styling. A couple of small tricks I have for you is that sweatshirts can look very slouchy, so you wanna know how to wear them on your body. I like to roll the sleeve a little bit, um, and then maybe do a tiny little scrunch just to make them look a little bit more tailored and a little bit more like it's trying to be a part of your outfit and not like you're halfway going to the gym and halfway going to work. And then the second part about wearing a sweatshirt is I do a lot of the time like to tuck it in in the front so you just tuck it in in the front of your pants and then blouse it over a little bit. Or if you're wearing a belt and you want to show it off, then you can show that as well and just tuck it a little further. A layer underneath it. So I always like to do a white longer tank top or a longer long sleeve shirt depending on how cold it is so it sticks out a little bit at the bottom. And this gives you more of a layered look, um, which is definitely a little bit more trendy and always makes your outfit look a little bit more elevated. Then the next thing is to add a mock neck or a turtleneck. This way, the mock neck or turtleneck kind of sticks out, which also gives you a less noticeable layered look, but still a layered look. That being said, I'll go ahead and get into the outfits and show you guys what I'm styling today. So I styled the gray sweatshirt with one of my favorite pairs of pants, and it is this wide leg, really flowy, tight waistband pants. These are my probably one of my favorite pants that I own, and I literally, whenever I get a chance to style them, I always do. But I love this look with sneakers. I think it's a really great casual look. Um, it's great for running errands or like, you know, doing a super casual lunch and you just wanna be comfortable and you wanna look cool. I think this is a great look, obviously layered with the tank underneath it, just to kind of break things up and give you that layered look. And then you can play with your accessories. I feel like this is such a fun outfit. You could do a hat, you could do a, um, a belt bag, you could do um, a backpack, you could do anything uh, fun with your accessories. You seem like you want it bad My head is spinning off the edge And I'm giving it way too fast, way too fast We can't go on idea as the pants but it's just a basic black midi skirt you can get these on ASOS I got this one from H&M but I know there's like a ton on ASOS right now and I think this is a good go-to casual look or dressy you could add boots and make it dressy but I think um, for a casual look sneakers um, a flat a loafer a hat I mean you can literally do whatever you want to this outfit now, the skirt is kind of like the sweatshirt you can take this and style it a hundred different ways just with anything in your closet any occasion so I think this is also a really good item to have on hand at all times I don't care what you say what you do how you feel as long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises honestly no big deal as long as you can show me a good time, I don't care. Oh, 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 plaid pants from Topshop and I think this is a great work outfit um, especially these pants I think these pants would go great with just like a plain mock neck 
Um, these are really versatile for work and on the weekends. You could add a graphic t-shirt and like a leather jacket. But for the sake of this video, I did it more for work. So I added a dressy booty and you're good to go. It's a super easy outfit. My dear friend, where have you been? Where have you gone? What did you win? Someone there, are you listening? Is it too late? good casual but also a good work look for maybe like a casual Friday is a pair of denim with a printed blazer. I love this look because first of all this is one of my favorite combos so adding a gray sweatshirt just makes it even more of my favorite and I like to add a loafer to it and maybe a hat of some sort. Um, I think those two accessories are great for work even if you can't wear a hat I think just a loafer would be perfect. I love this look because it really gives you that masculine tomboy look. My dear friend you know I give in Been waiting so long To feel it All of these years I've been listening Are you all so numb? Do you still pretend? We felt the sunshine We found the gold We thought we'd be forever young But now I know We can't keep floating We have to fall this is the beat of broken hearts. Is it all lost? We can't go on again. Cause you seem like you want it bad. My head is spinning off the edge. And I'm giving it way too fast, way too fast. On those warmer fall days, you can definitely do a pair of shorts. So I have these Bermuda shorts, which I love, and I don't really wear these often just because I don't really have many places to wear them to. And I don't know, I just don't grab them, but I feel like with this sweatshirt, um, it definitely makes it look a little bit slouchy, and I don't know, I just love this. But this is a great example of how to not wear a certain color of sweatshirt. So I'm doing it with this color sweatshirt because I feel like this color story makes sense. But then when you look at this sweatshirt, like this does not go. This is just like two completely different color stories. So this is a good example of like how to be careful when you are choosing a color sweatshirt. And then you could also do leather shorts if you're going out at night um, if, or if you're going like an occasion where leather shorts are appropriate. I think this is a really great pairing because you've got something so casual with something cool and dressy and definitely is a statement piece. Um, and I would just do boots, you could do booties, you could do loafers, you could do kind of just whatever you're in the mood for at the moment. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night, then you leave when it's like nothing wrong, it's alright with you. So free. I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel. As long as you can show me a good time. I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal. As long as you can show me a good time. I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys loved it. And let me know if you are loving the taking one item, styling it different ways. Um, it's one of my favorite videos to do because I think it is so cool how you can take one piece and just make unlimited outfits, especially like this sweatshirt right here, I think was like $12 from H&M. It's one of my favorites and it's helped me in so many times where I don't know what to wear. Just grab one of these and literally throw it with any bottom and accessorize it and you're good to go. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you aren't subscribed. I would love to see you back and I'll see you guys in my next video occasion so I think this is also a really good item to have on hand at all times. Bye!